Captain. What you're doing is wrong! This is wrong! You can't lock up someone who's innocent! Access granted. security scan. Unwilling human test subjects, is he? 
What's his opinion on Bell Tower using the OCM to further their military aspirations? Ask him about this Hydra project. Tiffany, calm down. I know all about the Hydra project. It's nothing nefarious. It's simply a means of allowing soldiers to communicate more efficiently when in the field. You've seen Burke's augmentation. It has nothing to do with the OCM. So, you think his obsession with this technology is because he's an environmentalist? Gary, I know this bothers you too. Those poor women. We can't keep doing this. We can't just rush blindly ahead and let men like Burke pull our strings. Science has made that mistake before. I know. All right. All right. Let's go down below and contact Bob. We'll see what he has to say about this. I know he's intrigued by the nanotech possibilities. Certainly, he's disappointed with the result of Please, let me go. I just want to go home. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll stay quiet, I promise. Just don't hurt me anymore. Calm down. I'm not gonna hurt you. You're not one of them? One of the scientists? Please, you've got to get me out of here. You've got to do something before they come back. I don't want to disappear like all the others. Hold on. You said they were coming back? Who? Burke? Is he behind this? I... I'm not sure. He comes around, but not that often. I know he gives the orders around here, but he doesn't seem all that interested in us beyond some psych tests and questioning. He mostly leaves us to the doctors or the scientists or whatever they are. Tell me about these scientists. Is one of them a woman named Reed? I don't know. I mean... There is a woman, but her name is Kavanaugh, not Reed. I heard the guard call her that. She's... She seems different. Like, she doesn't like what they're doing to us. I can't help but think she's being forced to do these things. The others just treat us like animals. It's horrible. I just want to go home. I want to help you, but you've got to stay calm. Now, what did you mean by disappear like the others? What's been going on back here? I don't know. I've heard rumors and seen some things, and I know what they've done to me. Biopsies, blood samples, tissue cores, like I'm some sort of lab rat. Is that why you're back here? Separated from the others? This is where they, they study and examine us to see if we're compatible or something. I don't know what they want from us. Sometimes we're sent back to the cells. Those that aren't, some of the others think they let them go, but I think they're being sent somewhere else, another facility maybe, or somewhere else inside this one. Why? What makes you think that? Because of the way they talk when they're with us. It's like they're looking for some kind of perfect gene match or something. I. Not a doctor. I don't understand it. I just don't want them touching me anymore. It's okay. What's your name? Nina. Nina Sullivan. I don't know why they're holding me in here. They just grabbed me off the street. I heard Cape Town was dangerous, but I thought, with all the security around... Cape Town? South Africa? Isn't that where we are? I blacked out. They drugged me, I think. I was on vacation in Cape Town at the end of the summer. I was going to be starting senior year in the fall, and I wanted to have an adventure. My parents must be so worried. I take it you're not a terrorist, then? No. I've never done anything wrong. Never demonstrated against anything or, or anything. But neither have most of the girls here. I'm not sure about the men, but please, can't you get me out of here? I know this is going to seem cruel, but I can't help you right now. You're going to leave me here? You can't. You have no idea what it's like. Please. I can't have you tagging along just yet or walking the halls alerting the guards. Trust me, when I can get you out, I will. But your best bet is to stay put. I'll, I'll alert them anyway. Burke 
and the two doctors were just here heading for the morgue. I'll tell them you're here. I will. Let me out or I'll tell them, I swear. And then what? Do you really think they'll let you go? I'm still the best chance you've got, but you have to be patient. Please. Don't go. Suboccipital triangle, isolating the neocerebellum and pontine nuclei. Well done, doctors. Appears that the spinal cranial replacement was successful. She's been stable for 48 hours. Placing the upper column and posterior skull is more complex than your own hindbrain augmentation, Commander Burke. But it's well within our abilities. That's not our sticking point. I'm quite aware of what your sticking point is, Doctor. Getting results that I can use. Carrie. Gary, she's waking up. Look at the alpha waves. They're attenuating. Blood pressure and heart rate are rising. O2 saturation is really low. Savage, get this under control. Tiff, increase sedation and disconnect the OCM interface. Get a dose of propofol ready. See if she stabilizes. It's not working, Gary. Damn it. There's a rupture in the circle of Willis. Anterior cerebral artery. Shit, shit. I've got to get in there. It's already too late, Tiffany. You know that. Is it still alive? No. Now we've lost her. I don't understand. She burned out so quickly. Arterial degeneration was clearly more advanced than anticipated, but still, the new compound should have worked. Dispose of the body. I'll have the next viable candidate prepared and sent down to you, Dr. Kavanaugh. So what did these ones die of, Savage? A complete neurological breakdown, from the looks of it. Organ collapse, nerve degradation. Find him. There's been some trouble on the base. My man will take care of it. You were saying? We may be looking at serious cross-systemic failure issues with the OCM. It's those god-awful implants, Gary. The whole inhumane procedure. After a while, it just burns them out. Has this been happening at the other sites? We've experienced some die-off, yes. But I've been told Dr. Reed's research may offer a breakthrough. If we could bring her back here... That's not going to happen. Then we need to start considering other options. A nanotech-based solution performed on willing volunteers. And are you volunteering yourself, Doctor? Tiffany, please. I need to look at the raw data, Commander. 
if you would. I turned a blind eye to your little office romance, Savage. But if she becomes a problem, she will be volunteering. Keitner, I found out what Burke's been concealing. The interrogation wing is some kind of medical testing facility. He's using the prisoners as lab rats. For what? Not sure. I'll need Burke's retinal scan data to find out. I can't download that without setting off a million alarms. However, Burke's eyes are enhanced, Jensen. He uses special retinal prostheses custom made for him by the Tai Young Medical Corporation. You want me to remove Burke's eyes? Not the ones he's currently using. He just received a new set this evening for when the cargo ship docked. With any luck, you'll find it in his office. Keitner out. Activating security scan. Granted.
with Keitner. I've got the eye, but it's not going to fool a retinal scanner unless it's attached to an optic nerve. I know that, Jensen. I do have a plan. Take the eye down to Quinn. He'll know what to do. Keitner out. Just saw the Irishman down below. He says he'll have the new merchandise soon now that the ships are done. Finally. Hey, do you ever wonder about his setup? I mean, I know he's a civvy, but Bell Tower's pretty strict about military procedures. They gotta know about this guy. Sure they know, but to them, he's like a pressure valve. Quinn gets us some of the things Bell Tower doesn't provide. Plus, he doesn't want to slide, so... We get to feel like we're getting away with something. Plus, we get some extra goodies. Exactly. As long as it doesn't get out of control, they'll let the Mick run his little market.
Just got off the horn with the commander. She says you got something for me to take a look at. Prosthetic eye, one of Burke's. We need it to get past a retinal scan, but it's useless like this. I, without an active neural connection, it might as well be an expensive paperweight. <laughs> may as well put a golf stopper in front of the scanner for all the good that thing will do you. Solutions, Quinn. Think you can handle this? Lad, I may be just a mechanic, but I'm also the only thing keeping this whole bleeding facility from sinking into the abyss. Think I can manage a simple optic frequency bypass. Just let me get me tools. Right. So that's it now. He got the eye. Sorry it took a little longer than I expected. Nearly break the damn thing once or twice. New TUAM firmware and such. Now don't go fucking around with it. It's only got a limited lifespan due to the temp power source I rigged. It's only good for one use. Got it? This is pretty impressive work for a mechanic, Quinn. What's that supposed to mean? There's more old Quinn than meets the eye. No pun intended. You wouldn't be the first fool to underestimate my know-how. Well, there's more to this job than just a simple battery swap. I saw you modifying the BIOS. This is state-of-the-art hardware and software. You're not just a mechanic. You're a hacker. What are you going on about now? Ain't nothing you couldn't pull off with a degree in computer engineering and a little elbow grease. Come off it now. We ain't got time for this. Is it supposed to be moving? Aye. Bloody creepy, that is. Try not to pay it any mind now. Thing's stuck in calibration mode. Trick is, I got it thinking it's plugged into a new host. And by rewriting the system diagnostic checks, it'll keep trying to connect without detecting anything to miss, which in turn keeps it alive in a manner of speaking. Fucking brilliant piece of engineering work if I don't so myself. Why only one use? Without being hooked up to a proper battery, like your brain. The voltage spike from a single scan will trip the surge protectors, shutting it down to prevent further transmissions. It's a redundant safety mechanism built into the optic nerve to prevent frying your noggin in a dorsal ventral feedback loop. Short of putting the thing in your own head, which I ain't exactly equipped to do, there's no way around it. Besides, I think the commander preferred this way. Well, hopefully this thing works. It'll work just dandy so long as you don't do something stupid like drop it, and it ain't a bloody webcam. So don't try using it to spy the knickers up someone's skirt. I gotta go. Right. Do us both a favor. Keep your head down. Activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access. Granted.
activating security scan. Biometric data assembled. Subject recognized. Access granted. Jensen, it's Keitner. Where are you? In a well-concealed elevator inside the prison's restricted wing. Your gun-running neural engineer deserves a raise. I take it the eye worked then. Good. Now listen, if what you say is true, if Burke really is using the prisoners here as lab rats, I need proof. Hard evidence that I can take to Interpol. An entire prison full of kidnapped civilians isn't enough? You're an ex-cop, Jensen. You tell me. How many death row inmates crying on about their innocence have you seen getting out? Point taken. I'll see what I can find. analyses of latest implanted patients and test subjects revealed no statistically significant changes. Can't take anymore. Want to die. Be free. Quite the house <gasps> of horrors you got here, Doc. You letting anyone in, or just women? Who are you? How'd you get down here? This is a restricted area. Obviously. You wouldn't want the rank and file knowing what kind of sick experimentation is going on down here. No, you, you don't understand. I'm not... Where's Burke? And your research partner, Savage? B Burke went back up to the base. And Gary... Gary left. Told me to be smart, keep my mouth shut and do whatever Burke tells me to do. For now. For now? I heard the three of you talking up there in the morgue. Sounded like you don't exactly fit in here, Dr. Uh... Kavanagh. And who the fuck are you? The name's Jensen. 
I came here looking for someone. Megan Reed. Reed? I I've seen her research. Gary thinks it could be the key we're missing. If she can be convinced to come here. Megan Reed was kidnapped, Kavanaugh. Violently. As was her entire scientific team and the dozens of women you've been torturing down here. No! You, you don't understand. I'm trying to save them. Gary and I, we were sent here to put the OCM project back on track. It wasn't until we got here that we realized what that meant. And by then, by then it was too late. You're really going to stand there and try to justify your role in this, aren't you? People are being enslaved, Kavanaugh. Enslaved and crucified. It, it wasn't like that at first. I thought we were going to make a difference, do something incredible for the world. Right. And look how incredible it turned out to be. But you can still make a difference, Doctor. You can help me blow the lid off this place. Are you insane? I, I can't. There's too much money invested in this. Burke, the people I work for, they'll kill me. They'll hunt me down and kill me. I know people who can protect you, hide you. Interpol is just waiting for evidence to tear Bell Tower apart. It's not just Bell Tower. Oh, God. Oh, God, am I really going to do this? <sighs> you... You can't get me out through the prison. Burke would stop us. Then we'll have to do what Savage did. Take a submersible. We can't. The hatches to all the docking hangers are locked tight. The only way to unlock them is by using the security console in the prison command tower. Burke keeps an eye on us that way. Then I'll have to go back up there and unlock it. Well, you gather as much evidence as you can carry. Oh my god. I'm really gonna do this. Damn right you are. Now get moving. I'll contact you when I unlock the hatch. Alright. Fine. But, Mr. Jensen, please, hurry.